Morena, Javier George. Gentlemen, we are still here in Madrid. It's showtime, edition number 51. And now it is time for the heavyweights. And the first fighter making his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Spain. Please welcome Senor Loren Javier Jorge. Our main event is upon us. And Loren Javier Jorge about to make his way to the ring. This is a big ask indeed for Loren Javier. Take on one of the finest in the world in Tyrone Spong. Loren Javier, 2008, 2010, Waco World Champion. WPMF European Champion and the ISKA European Champion. For most of his career at under 95 kilograms, the 26 year old who has defeated the likes of Moises Rubal, who we saw earlier tonight, and Zinedine Hamulain. It's also over Thomas Serrara and Humberto Evora. Tenerife, now living in the Netherlands. Biggest test of Loren Javier's career. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Representing Suriname, please welcome the King of the Ring, Tyrant Spong! specimens to ever lace up the kickboxing gloves. A world champion in every weight division, from middleweight to heavyweight. Can you believe this man once weighed 71 kilograms? Defeated the likes of Ray Sefo, Attila Karach, Igor Mihailovic. That epic fight against Alistair Overeem in the quarterfinals of the K1 Grand Prix last year when he almost beat the Ream. In Europe over the last five, six years, if you were to ask most pundits who is the finest kickboxer in all of Europe, they would certainly have answered Tyrone Spock. Ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight fight is three rounds of three minutes, according to the Showtime rules. And the referee Spong, of this who trains match, under four-time K1 is World sponsor, Champion, Mr. Perfect, and so Hoost. He's been doing some training with King Mo Lawal in Holland lately. Fought just over a month ago, of course, in Lyon, defeating Igor Mihailovic right here on HDNet. And the record is superb. 81 and 5. 54 knockouts. For Tyrone Spock. It's decent. It's a decent record. <laughs> Hell of a nice guy outside the ring too, Tyrone. Mr. Perfect. There's Ernesto Hurst. The great one. Spong looking for back-to-back -back wins. Again, his pro career in 2001. No headbutts. No back fist, spinning back fist, no elbows, no cleansing. After making him on break, his break stops stop you all, okay? It's a good fight, shake hands and once back. 
2004, he won the European Middleweight Championship. A one Combat League champion in 2005 in a brilliant tournament run. And here he is in the main event in Madrid. Michael Chabello, Frank Trigg with you. Spaniard, Loren Javier in the black trunks. Look for the excellence of execution on Tyrone Spong. Everything he throws is just beautifully worked. from Loren Javier. Spong who ventured to the US a couple of years ago, did some boxing training with Floyd Mayweather Sr. He was full of praise for the handiwork of Spong. Expected Spong to transition into pro boxing. Never came to be. Instead he chose to move into K1. Did have some trouble adjusting to the weight though, Tyrone, with mixed success. And he jumped up to heavyweight. Losses to Labana, Gokan Saki, Alastair Overeem, as I said. But wins over Kajira Maida, Sugar Ray Sefo, Attila Karach, Samir Benazud, Zabit Samadov, Gary Turner. Incredible effort, though, for a former middleweight to be now a very competitive top eight in the world heavyweight. The mouth waters Frank at perhaps a potential matchup between Tyrone Spong and Badahari. Yeah, that'd be a great battle. That'd be a great battle. After he almost beat Alistair over him last year in the quarterfinals of the Grand Prix, I spoke to Ernesto Hust. Ernesto said, Voice, give me one more year with Tyrone at heavyweight. One more year to get him used to carrying this weight. And I promise you, he will be a world champion in K1. And you know that Ernesto Hust picks who he trains very carefully and doesn't hand out praise too freely. Spong switching from Southport to Orthodox. He had a knockout in his last win by that very technique. And then to Igor Mihailovic in Lyon. Before that, though, it had been quite a while since his last stoppage win way back in January of 2009 against Samir Benazuz, which was quite unlikely for a man who's won most of his fights by KO or TKO. Into the first round, we go to the towels. Just a feeling our process, seeing what each other has to offer. They're, uh, you know, I'm really impressed with the way Javier is staying in the pocket. I mean, Spong is so much bigger and stronger than him. If he stays outside, he's going to get hit a lot more. So he's stay, trying to stay deep inside that pocket and keep moving forward. Javier's doing a pretty decent job of defending himself right now, but I get the feeling that Tyrone's ready to start up in the game now, coming to the second round. One thing those girls don't have, Frank, is a pocket. They don't? Well, at least none that we can see. And there's the odd one out. The strange hair, the ring through the nose, and lip. Oh, there's always one. This got some thigh tattoos, too. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of instruction for Loren Javier. Tyrone Spong looking relaxed. A little bit of reddening on his right eye as they ice it up. Very soft spoken outside of the ring, Tyrone Spong. Very gentle man. Make them. Inside the ring, an animal. Second round of our main event. And Spong comes out jabbing. Outside leg kick, nicely done. He's very fast for a heavyweight, Spong. Spoke about how extraordinary his rise through the weight divisions has been over the years. He drops that beautiful liver shot that was the Ernesto who's trademark. His first ever title, Tyrone Spong, 
if you can believe this, Frank, was at 66 kilograms. That's like 150 something. 66 kilograms. The MT BN Muay Thai Dutch Junior Class Championship. 66 kilograms. These days he's fighting at. That's 100 kilograms. That's 145 pounds. His first, his first title was 145 pounds. Yep. And now he's fighting at 220. So his first title, he weighed less than, for you kickboxing fans, less than Giorgio Petrosian. Less than Gago Drago. <laughs> wow. Obviously, you agree. <laughs> There's no way in that frame. Now, that was junior. Junior class fighting. 66 kilos. When he was training under Lucian Carbine. Another fighter of Surinamese descent, of course, is Spong. As Lorena Javier gets a count here in the second round. Can he continue the Spaniard? They're hitting the gut. He's hurt. This, is, this might be over right here, Mike. Can Spong finish? He's got very good finishing instincts, Tyron Spong. Outside leg kick. Paper, I never considered that Lodon Javier was going to be a real challenge for Spong. Spong seems to have backed off a little. I wouldn't actually be surprised, though, Frank, if Ernesto told Tyrone, listen, you can beat this guy. There's no doubt about it. Why not just get the three rounds in your pocket? Get the experience, yeah. carry this weight, let's have a play with it, let's see how you do it. Pull out your full repertoire. Don't try and finish it too early. Work some new techniques. You yep. know, something we can work on the gym. Let's try to pull this out now. Because I don't believe there's anything in the arsenal of Loren Javier that can really phase Tyrone. And it's a good opportunity for Spong to test his medal at this weight yet again. Inside thigh kick from Loren Javier. Spong with the body rip. And a high knee catches him. That'll be a count. Beautifully done from Spong. That step up knee is an absolute treat. It was what did the damage to Igor Mihailovic last time out. And it ends the round here on a high note for Spong. Folks, the third and final round. When we return, it's showtime 51 from Madrid on HDNet. saw the knees come into play from Tyrone Spong. First count, knee to the bread basket of Lauren Javier. And then right before the bell, we saw a beautiful step up knee again from Spong. Icing down the right eye that was damaged in the first round. His eyeball is still red too, he might get poked in it. Easily in control this fight. Three minutes remains in this main event. Dance, lads. It is all for Loren Javier Jorge of Spain to do now. Round three. Good defense from Spong. Glancing right hand from Loren Javier. Spong goes to the liver, tries for the good night Irene knee. Inside front kick from Spong. Nice work off the left arm. With the speed now of Spong. He's definitely opened up his pace, opened up his skill. His tangle box now. He's, he's dipping into some stuff we haven't seen quite yet. Double last two leg kick, you know, thrown in. Going a jab, shaking up a cut, going to hook up a cut, coming across that leg kick. I get some separation here into another quick Measuring the shot spot. Clinch and knee. Inside leg kick, nice and high. Not in Javier, a slow down here. 
and staring down the barrel of a unanimous decision defeat. No hat to hat, come on, fight. Long on the inside, ripping with the right hand. Locks the uppercut, sucking in the elbows. I'm pretty certain, Frank, that this is just Tyrone Spong wanting to go the distance. Wanting to have a bit of a play at this weight. Both. Feel himself out, try a few new weapons. Yeah, we can definitely see. I can see the space right now. We can put him away if he chooses to. He's just not, he's not stepping into that space to try to put him out. Look how he landed inside knee kick so high. Most guys, that's dangerous because you end up getting a groin shot and the result you have to stop the fight and make a disqualification. Spawn gets it right on the inside, right in the right spot. There's no problem. Banging up the Spaniards midsection with these knees. Stiff jab from Laurent Javier and the uppercut. The crowd trying to rally on. Laurent Javier. Hey, come on, fight the no end. Avail. Fight. Referee wants a little bit more action. Spong with the knee. Chomp turning back kick from the Spaniard. Well, if he's still got the energy to pull that out at this late stage. Right, and he's still got energy to pull that right hand like that. Why not come forward a little heavier? Yeah, exactly. Start pushing the pace a little bit. Spong just... tanking him apart with the knees. This will be a decision victory to Tyrone Spong. And it was really, again, a glorified sparring session. certainly wasn't a competitive fight, Frank. No. And you feel that Tyrone probably could have ended it in the first, if not the second round, indeed. Yeah, you need him in the stomach, and they got that, got the standing eight count. And really, right at the end of the second, at the end of the first round, he got the, another standing eight count, and he hit him again, the bell rang. So it's, you know, he was easily in the pocket to finish him. His knees are working tremendously, because he, it looks like he's thrown him to the head every single time, but he's not. He goes in the stomach to the chest, end of the head, so you have to kind of pick your space where you're going to block him. But he just didn't look like he wanted to finish. Huh? We're, we're, our assumption is that Ernesto Hoos, Mr. Perfect, said, hey, look, we got to wait a second. Let's, let's carry this weight. Let's go through another round. We've got to get you used to carrying around this extra heavy weight so we can get ready for the bigger fights later on down the road. The decision should be a no-brainer here. We have a winner of this fight. By unanimous decision, the winner from the red corner, Tyrone Spong! Spong! Takes his ultra impressive record through to 82 wins and just five losses. Loren Javier Jorge goes to 72, 5 and 4, which caps off another night of its showtime action from here in Madrid. Seem Loren look a little upset. They certainly could not be upset about the decision. It was all one way traffic. Maybe they're upset at their man's lack of. Aggression until the very final 30 seconds. Raymond, Simon Roots, the team from It's Showtime, congratulating Tyrone Spong across the ring. The Spaniards will be celebrating tonight the world title victory earlier in the night to Javier Hernandez, taking up the champion, Karim Benui in what was the best fight of the night, no doubt. And also, a great win by Zeben Diaz over Turkey's Yavuz Kayabasi in the opening fight of the night. Probably the most explosive one, though, was Murfel Grunhardt, trained by Mike Passania over Rafi Zuhir. Folks, as we have a look at some of the action as it went down here at a big night in Spanish kickboxing history. This was Seben Diaz in the red trunks, getting the win over Yabus Kayabasi. Moises Rubal with the blonde hair. Couldn't take care of business against Saha Parparian in the 85 kilo division. Parparian is the world champion. It was a non-title fight. Here's Murthul Grunhardt knocking out Rafi Zuhir. Though some controversy after a blow to the back of the head. And the world title fight saw Javier Hernandez.
after being stunned early on and dropped. He dropped Banui in the second round. Powered through to win by decision. Gago Drago brought his usual entrance, but did not bring the action to Abraham Roquini. Roquini getting the decision. Then as you saw in our main event, Tyrone Spong, an easy day against Laurent Javier. From myself, Michael Chevello and Frank Trigg, it's good night.